Hello everyone, how are you? Today we will start with a new lesson with forces are combining motion. First, we have three forces are combining motion like inertia, friction force, and forces inside living organisms. The first one is called inertia. First, what is the meaning of inertia? Inertia is the property by which object resists the change of a phase or state from rest to motion or vice versa. For example, like the passengers and the driver in the moving bus rush forward when the bus stops suddenly. Objects inside the bus are moving with the same speed of the bus, but the brakes are pushed suddenly to stop the bus, so the object inside the car keeps moving. So when the bus stops suddenly, the passenger and the driver try to maintain their state of motion, therefore they rush forward. Another example, the passenger in the static bus rushed backward when the vehicle starts moving forward suddenly. So the bus moves forward suddenly, the passenger try to maintain their state of the rest and they rush backward. Another example, for example, like the football player rushes forward and falls down on the ground when he is trapped over another. Let's make an activity to show us what is the meaning of inertia. To show the object resist the change in the state of motion, carry some small plastic cubes on your palm and stretch your arm forward, walk forward quickly, then stop suddenly. What happens? When you stop suddenly, the plastic cubes move forward and fall on the ground. So we can conclude what? While you are moving forward, the cubes have your speed. When you stop, the cubes keep moving and maintain their state of motion. So they fall on the ground due to the force of inertia. Another activity, if we bring a piece of cardboard paper on the top of a glass and we put a coin on it, then we push the paper with your four fingers quickly. What you observe, the paper will go away from the cup while the coin falls inside the cup. So we can conclude what? Your force moves the paper while the coin falls inside the cup. Why? Because it can't match up with your rapid head due to the inertia. So we have technological application on inertia. We use safety belts in cars and the plants oppose the forces of inertia and prevent the passenger for being injured when sudden change in velocity of the earth. So it's more important in our cars, we must use safety belts. Next, the second type is called friction force. What is the meaning of friction force? They are resistance force that resist the motion. They originated due to the contact between the object in motion and the surface touching. The friction may be between solid and solid, solid and air, solid and water. For example, when you ride a bike in a moving fast on the road, then you stop pedaling. The speed of bike what decreases gradually until they stop the friction force with the ground and air will slow down the speed of the bike. Another example, the bike of a car brakes increase in contact surface between the brakes and the tire of vessel, increasing friction force which opposes the motion of the vessel and stop it eventually. Next. Now let's talk about the benefits and the harms of friction. Number one in benefits of friction, a person's feet don't slip down during walking. So it, it helps in prevent slipping down during walking. Number two, 
the friction between the car tire and the road help the car to starting motion or stopping motion. Last one, it helps in cars at risk to move. So what are the harms of friction? Number one, cause loss of mechanical energy to heat. Number two, heat generated due to the friction inside the machine part, causing the expansion of these parts and affect their performance. Finally, it causes erosion of machine parts and damage them as well. So we must to decrease the friction and its harms, we must replicate and oiling machine with oil and lubricants to reduce the friction force and prevent their erosion. Finally, we will talk about the forces inside living organism means biological forces. Let's start with number one. Number one, heart muscle contract and relax to pump the blood to all body organs. So by contraction and relaxation of heart, what happens? The blood move to all body cells. Number two, the body organs to move. By what? By contraction and relaxation of muscle. Number three, pulses inside blood vessels push the blood out the heart into blood vessels that carry the blood upward against gravity inside our body. Number four, liquid out run spurred through pores and the wall of plant cells, the pores, the water go up from the soil to the plant. And some of these forces work in a simple unicellular living organism. Others are found in the complex ones inside the multicellular living organism. They enable living organism to do vital processes and survive. And that are called biological forces or forces inside living organisms. Thank you very much. Bye.